Hello, my dears, and welcome back to Let's Play Doom 2016. Now, when last we left off, things were going very, very wrong around here, were they not? We just had a bit of a speech from Optimus Prime uh, telling us that uh, Tilda Swinton was trying to unlock the gates of hell. So, cup of tea in hand... I don't think tea is Doom Guy's drink, to be perfectly honest, uh, although he could certainly use one. Uh, we are going to head into the facility, and we are going to kick some demon ass. But before we do that, can we just take a moment to appreciate how cool all of this looks? Just how beautiful it all looks? Look at the the leather and the armor on Doom Guy's hand and the textures on the gun. It's just, it's quite, you know, it's from 2016 and this game looks great. It has, a, it's aged beautifully. Which interestingly, Doom 3 hasn't aged quite as well. It's not a bad looking game. Oh dear. Someone's Hadron Collider has gone a little bit haywire there, by the looks of things. One too many particles floating around in there, methinks. Deary, deary me. Hello, what's that? Is that a is that an assault rifle, just in case you missed it the first time round? Oh dear, I don't want to go down there. That would be bad, I imagine. Untethered cross-dimensional activity is a frequent occurrence outside of the base. So Vega, you're a computer. How is it you look more human service. than Hayden? You seem more human than Hayden. You talk more human than Hayden. You look more hu you look more human than Tilda Swinton. Which is really quite peculiar. Untethered cross-dimensional activity is a frequent occurrence outside of the base, so it is recommended that workers buddy up when journeying onto the Mars I can Ooh, I don't like that. I can hear something scrabbling about up there. It's a wrench. It's a wrench. Is that a Half-Life reference? It could be. I just like the notion that human beings are still using wrenches like that at this point in time. Bloody hell. Wow. Look at this place. This is amazing. Oh, wow. It's so cool. This game is amazingly beautiful. I mean, one thing I would love to see is a game that uses this engine that has these environments and these graphics but has a more sort of fallout feeling to it um that would be superb if they if they get it right that is and i know i know recently bethesda's um reputation with the fallout games not great not great but can you imagine a sort of doom rpg that takes the lore a little bit deeper and has a slightly slower pace oh it'd be so good so bloody good. I'm taking it that I can't get over this area yet. No. No, I can't. Damn it. What's going on over there? There's something glowing over there. And that that's wibbling in a very uh, distressing manner. I don't like that at all. Okay. I remember this level. There are secrets all over this level. Lots of secret areas to find and play around in. For example, this is like the first real full level. It's quite large. There are lots of places to discover. I can't remember all of them. So uh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be as much um, a matter of experimentation and exploration for me as it is for you lot. It's distressingly quiet, isn't it? Where is everything? And why isn't anything trying to kill me yet? I'm actually far more comfortable when things are trying to kill me in this game than when they're not. At least then I know where they are. That fire is stunning. I mean, look at that. Everything in this game is stunning, actually. It's so impressive. Hmm. Can I make it? Let's find out! Oh. Oh, I heard something then. I definitely heard something go... Then. Yeah, it's up there, I think. But I think we're not going up there. I think we're heading... That way! Oof. Bloody hell. That was... Ah, uh... oh, I know what this is. This is one of the challenges. This just adds a little bit of fun. You can take the opportunity 
to upgrade yourself by completing uh, timed challenges, which are actually quite fun. Now, let's see what this one involves. The Rune Trial. Use the combat shotgun to eliminate 15 imps before the time expires. All right. Let's give it a go, shall we? We might fuck this up, but let's see. Ooh, occult weirdy beardiness. I do love that about Doom. The sort of flagrant comic book um, satanic imagery in the Doom games. That is tons of fun. Okay, start challenge. Three, two, one, go! God, you've got to be quick. Oh, I'm not going to do it. Damn it! Did we do it? Did we do it? Or did we fail? I, I don't know. I think we did it. I don't know. I think we did it. Or do we have to do it again? Uh. That'd be a shame if we didn't do it. That was, that was quite fun. Some of them are bloody hard, I can tell you. Later on, some of those rune trials are really friggin' difficult. You need to know exactly where everything is going to spawn in. And they're all different. They're all different. It just adds this wonderful little sort of... Um, this element of variety to the game, I suppose. God, the load times are the only thing that lets this game down. The bleeding load times. They're so long. But then again, yay! So we've got runes, okay. So we can equip a rune. What does this do? Increase the range that you can absorb dropped items. Well, why not? That's brilliant. I love the rune, si the rune circle. Isn't that ace? Cool. Some of those runes are really useful later on. So yes, we did it. We did it. What fun. Hey, ladies and gents, what fun. And of course, the more of the runes that you get, the more powerful you become, which is something you really do need. Some of the runes, they're not essential, but God, do they make the game easier. Bloody hell, do they make the game easier. Okay. Oh, yes. Good. Good. That was fun, actually. Um, there's something running about up there. Hmm. I trust this not. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. These seem to be marking a secret or something. Hmm. Interesting. Nothing down there? No. It's distressingly quiet, isn't it? And I know I saw something running about up here. I want to know where it's gone. Hmm. You know, you get so used to the sights of blood and carnage spattered everywhere, you just, you just get desensitized to it. Because that's what the game is. It is gore. Aha! Summoning circles. Oh, shit. Oh. That's not good. That's not good at all, is it? It looks like... Uh, they call it Argent Energy, which is the energy of hell. It looks like it's being focused here by that. That's gross. Hello? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's just human carnage, isn't it? Jesus. So this is uh, this is Tilda Swinton's Better World for Humanity, apparently. What have we got here? The rocket launcher. F 
fuck. Oh my god. The rocket launcher. Remember this? But we're not going to be using that yet. We really want the shotgun at the moment. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Hello? Hmm. Jesus. Well, I will say this. The demons, they're pretty artistic when it comes to carnage, aren't they? I mean, they haven't just strung up human beings arbitrarily. There's that. Hmm. I remember this area. This area is insane. There are thousands of demons out here. See? And those guys with their bleeding shields. I want to bottleneck them as much as I can. Not these guys. These guys I don't really want to... Because they're walking um, inventories. I don't really want to harm them if I can help it. I want to get to the big guys. That'll do. Like that. Ah! Ah! Shit! Well, that went well. Going very, very well indeed. One uh, victory in the form of the challenge. I'm going to have, actually, uh, just to reinforce this motif, I'm going to have a sip of tea. Because that's what Doomguy does whilst he's trying, to, waiting to resurrect. He is the eternal champion of... Well, I, I don't want to say the forces of... of heaven or anything like that. I don't even think there is a heaven in the Doom universe. Um, I don't think it works like that, somehow. I just don't think it works like that. Aha! Couldn't get it up, could ya? As it were. Not this time. You see how the game actually rewards you for not playing timidly? It's brilliant, isn't it? If you play defensively, this game, it will punish you. It will absolutely punish you. You play aggressively in this game. Or you don't play at all. Hello? I know they're the weakest enemies, or the weakest of the demons, but they are often the most dangerous. Just because they're so quick and there are so many of them, they can very easily overwhelm. Ah! Well, we can fix that. With a little help from my friend! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Ow! That was just uncalled for. Hmm, very high up here. Are there any secrets we can get from here? I love, like, the, the wind, look, rattling the, um, the lamppost. Isn't that cool? Ooh, there are armor shards over that. Whee! Always useful. And are there any secrets we can drop down to? Probably. Probably. There are lots of secrets on this level, as I said before. Lots of them. So we've got to keep an eye out. For the, the, you know, little passages and little platforms and things that we can climb on. Air vents. Keep an eye out for air vents. And stuff like that. Oop. Ooh, there's an upgrade thing here. Oh, look. Yeah, so we'll have to get rid of that. Oh, there's uh, something bounding about. Hmm. We have a fair choice of ways to go here, actually. I remember that area. I remember that area very well. That is absolute carnage down there. There's already things fighting down there, look. Does that mean they're fighting one another? Oh, yeah! The demons are fighting one another. Look at that! That's uh, a lovely uh, holdover from the original Doom. If you were very clever, it was actually rather easy to get the demons in the original Doom fighting one another. Hello? Lovely. Ah, you see? You see that area? That, that is an area we can actually access. Um, 
I think we'll need to go round, though, to get there. Not yet, though. Not yet. It's restricted. For the time being. Whilst there are demons knocking about, I'd assume. Oh, there are lots of these things knocking about. Not good. Oh, come on. We haven't even started yet. Be fair. Ow! Get off! God, I haven't even pulled the eye thing out yet, and it's already absolute carnage up here. God, there are loads of them! Ugh! Yes. <laughs> God, I can certainly tell that I'm playing this on uh, ultra violence. There are lots. Ow! That was full on, right in the face. Yeah, that hurt a lot, actually. Hmm. Yeah, so I've got to clear both of these areas out, and they're both going to be rather tricky. Like I said, this area is enormous. And there's lots to do. There is a lot to do around here. Um. Well, I suppose we may as well just make a start, yeah? So go on, Doom Guy. I love the sound it makes. Bloody Nora. Hello, Biggin. Yeah, you're definitely going down first. Bloody hell. Maybe not. Hey, yeah, yeah, you fight. You fight. Ow! Bloody hell. Well, shit. <laughs> oh, time for another cup of tea. And this episode started out so well. You know, we won a rune and whatnot. Oh well. Dying is all part of the experience. Oh, we've got lots of tokens. We should really start making more use of them. Really? Where are you going? Oi! Little swine. Yeah, let's just let them uh, fight it out, shall we? Woo! Ow! Lovely. Now, we could go around this way again. Can't go that way. Or we could try going through this way this time. Just for a change. Woo! The platforming is really surprisingly good for a first-person game. As I said before, first-person games and platforming don't necessarily have, um... They're not often simpatico in the way that this game demonstrates them to be. Hello. Yeah, we definitely should have come in here first. Thank you very much. I'll have that. Very lovely. Thank you. What a lovely little cavern. There's a crawly up there. You see him. There. Oh, there's another crawly there. Ow! Well, bugger you then. I'm not having that. Ooh, that was a good shot. I must say. Whoop, whoop. Really must clear this area out. What hurt you? You were just down and out. What hurt you? One of the enemies from over there, presumably. I remember that these waves, when you defeat... When you, um... When you pull out these, the waves that come are very, very long. And there's lots of big monsters in them. Big, big monsters. The Hell Knights become almost like routine enemies at this point. Um... But let's go for it anyway. It's what we're here for, after all. Right, we need to find a strong point. If we can get them fighting, that would be even better, actually. Gotcha. Hmm. 
delicious. Yeah, I mean, when you, it's so interesting the way it progresses. When you first fight the Hell Knights, they are... They feel next to impossible. But then they just become, like, kind of normal enemies. Later on, they just become de rigueur. They really do. Mmm. Delicious plasma. And it's a good thing, isn't it? At the rate it keeps chucking the fucking things at us. Mmm. Lovely. Not as dirty go as the imps, but, um... Yeah, the Hell Knights just become normal enemies. Oh, we got a weapon upgrade point for that. Lovely! Okay. Now, should we go and do the other one right away? Or should we, uh, do something else first? Lots and lots to do in this area. There's this area. There's an area over there we can explore. There's an area over here we can explore. Um, lots and lots to do. Let's go and have a look around, shall we? Map out the area first. Oh, wow. Oh, low ammunition. That's that's not nice. Out of ammo for that. That sucks. Um, what do I have ammo for? Not much. Urgh. Give me ammo. Ammo, please. Ah, stop giving me health. I want ammo. Especially for this. Because this is my prime weapon. Uh, we really are running out of stuff at the moment. Yeah, we could do with an ammo drop. Uh, ooh, this is getting dicey. It's the detail in these environments that amazes me, because the environments feel functional. They don't feel like shooting arenas, which is obviously what they are. Hmm. They feel like, um... They, they feel like they were actually built to perform some sort of function for this facility. It's very clever. And I, 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 as I may have mentioned before in previous playthroughs, architecture and I in video games, yeah, it generally does it for me. Hmm. That looks like things are going to spawn in there. Hello? Ooh, lovely. Delicious. I should maybe start using my grenades a bit more, you know. Hello? What's with the noises? Oh, that's with the noises. Okay, fine. That's with the noises. Yep. Meh. Oh, lovely. Oh, do I not have any more grenades? Oh, that's annoying. Let's pick up these ones, then. Do you have nothing else backing you up? Is it just you? If it's just you, I'm just going to come down there and black you. Like that. Urgh. Ooh. Yes, please. Hammunition. Always welcome. Always welcome in this game. Oh, uh, there is a way of turning that force field off so we can get in there. It's such a cool environment. It's it's colourful. It's oddly colourful. The, the, the colour palette of this version of Doom is orange. There's an overwhelming orangeness to it. Which is so odd for a game of its type. They tend to be a- Whoa, fucking hell, where's this? Jesus! This is, uh... Hello? Oh, I don't want to be overwhelmed. <laughs> I need to be careful. Give me ammunition! Thank you. I 
can't. I haven't got any ammo for that. Damn. Ammo! Oh dear. You've got to feel a little bit sorry for them, don't you? Just a little bit, surely. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Hello? Oh, there's an imp. Hello. Will you just die? Ah! <laughs> no! Ah, I didn't see him! Damn! Where was the last checkpoint? Where was the last checkpoint? Yes, I'm having another cup of tea. Or rather, it's the same cup of tea. I just happen to be finishing it off. Oh, oh, this isn't so bad. I can deal with that. The checkpoints are actually pretty good in this game, I've got to say. I mean, the designers are aware of things like pacing and whatnot. Oh, I missed this last time, so it's probably a good thing. Yes, I'm sticking with that. It was a good thing that we died. Because it enables me to get this. Hmm. Oh, ammo. Yeah, yeah, let's do ammo this time. Definitely. Let us do that this time. God, I could just wander around this and look at the environments. They're so pretty. Okay. That's enough sightseeing, I think. We want to get up here, don't we? Yes, let's climb all over the experimental and probably highly volatile machinery that's busy tearing open gateways to hell. Why not, Doom Guy? Why the hell not? Where am I going? Not that way, clearly. <laughs> Which way did I go last time? Oh, yeah. And now there's another way up, isn't there? Duh. There we go. Hmm. And now there are multiple ways around and out. Oh, hello. What is going on here? Do I really want to press it? What's it going to do if we do? Oh, fuck We're it. Only temporarily disabling the tower. You need to remove each lens individually. Carefully release the hinges. <laughs> Destroying oh. the production of Argent energy isn't necessary. Oh, I'm afraid it is. And I don't think Doom Guy cares much about what's necessary. What's going on there? What are you doing? Are you just haphazardly transporting crates around? Because if so, that's fine. I've got no problem with that. Doom guy might, but I don't. Ooh, ooh, yes, we want in there. Oh, do we have to do what I think we need to do? Do we have to get on top of that floating thing to get in there? That would be my guess. If so, that's going to be amusing. Where did it go? Do we, or can we just climb in? That'd be good. I could just climb in! Yay! Okay, what do we need to do for this one? Armed with a pistol, destroy 30 barrels before the timer expires. This one's a bit more tricky, if I remember correctly, so we need to destroy 30 barrels. Okay. Okay. I can do that. I think. 30 barrels before the timer expires. Alright, I suppose. Depends on how the barrels are spaced. Depends on how they're spaced. <clears throat> Start challenge. Okay. It's 30. Okay. Oh, this one's actually a harder one. I remember this. It's like finding the last one is an evil pest, as you can imagine. Whoop. 
yeah, this is uh, this is actually really tricky. This one, because you need to plan. Ah, fuck it. Retry. No, we'll get it. We'll get it. You need to be really, really careful about how you do this one. I remember this being an absolute pain the first time I did it. Okay, let's try this. You want to leave the clustered ones down here for later, really. You want to do these outlying ones first. And do it methodically and take it slowly. Just not think about the timer, if you can help it. Fuck. Hmm. Yeah, you can sort of... You can lay your own path if you're really clever. And I mean really clever about it. Yeah, there we go. That was alright, actually. Dazed and Confused. Increases how long demons... Re that's really good. I, that, yeah, that's going to be of enormous use. Enormous use. That was fun, actually. I enjoyed that. I enjoy all of the um, the challenges. Some of them, as I say, are phenomenally difficult. They get... The the, uh, the parameters escalate. Like, in some of them, you need to kill hordes of demons in very particular ways. You can only kill them, like, from above or something like that. You can only kill them using executions or whatever, or headshots. You can only kill them using... from behind or something like that. Very, very tricky. Very tricky. But fun. Real fun. I just add this lovely element of tension to the game. And the game keeps doing this. It keeps changing as it goes on. That's brilliant. So, um... Oh, wrong one. We can now go and put... Ah, oh, we've only got one slot. So, to be honest, I prefer this one. I definitely prefer Dazed and Confused, because that is much more fun. So, um... Hmm. What else can we do while we're around here? Because I get the impression there are secrets around here. Quite a lot of them. Hmm. Can we open this? I thought we might be able to. Doom guy flexing his big beefy muscles. Obviously. Ooh. Hello? Hello? Is there someone in here? Hello? Eh. Don't need it, but I'll certainly remember where it is. Hello? Open. How do you open it? Oh, okay. Maybe there's a key? Maybe we need a particular key? No? Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it'll only open when certain parameters are met. Who knows? Hello? Meh. Yeah. Oh dear. It's a bit of a mess down here, isn't it? Which which one of you guys uh, is the cleaner? Oh, it's the chainsaw buried in someone's back. Just in case we didn't have it before. We certainly have it now. Hello? Hello? Is there a secret down here? No. Thought there might be. Thought there might be. You never know in this game. Look at these robot things. It's beautifully designed. Everything's beautifully designed in this game. Everything. Again, it's an example of that environmental storytelling that I love so well. Oh, here's another one. Is he going to be as violent with this one as he was with the last one, do you think? Probably. Probably. Hey, Optimus. You must stop. Check the it out. energy is unusable without the filters. What you are destroying is more valuable than you can possibly imagine. It is a perfect and unlimited energy resource. Oh. 
shame. Such a shame. What a pity. Do we have... Yes. Good. Okay. I'm just going to head this way for a little bit. Did I go up this way last time? Ooh, no I didn't. Urgh. Lovely. Hmm. There's another platform there. Where does that lead? We're going to find out. <gasps> hmm. We can see this area from up there. This is interesting. Hello. Uh. Oh, nope, shooting the dead one there. That was stupid. Oh dear. You guys didn't do too well there, did you? I love the way they become embers. That's really cool, actually. Hello. Uh. Delicious. Hmm, that's not... Ooh, there's a way up there. Is there a way up here? Is there a way for me to jump up? No? Yeah, it's a shame because there is a path up there. Getting lots of those tokens. Which is all to the good, isn't it? What's going on down there? Nothing good. Of that you can be damn certain. I'm waiting for a certain type of demon to turn up that I like a lot, and I know, I think, they turn up on this level. But we'll find out, won't we? My favourite demons from the original game, in fact. Oh, it's a storehouse! Oh, that's very cool. Can we get through there? Yes. Hello. Very nice. I'll have to remember this is here. Hello. Okay, so we can upgrade everything from here. Um, firing the plasma will build up excessive heat that can be released as a powerful blast. Power bot will launch as an electrical projectile that stuns. The well, that's pretty good. I think we'll take that. Give it to us. Lovely. Okay, fabulous. We need to remember this is here for when we're running out of ammo, because this place is going... Wow, this is like a a lovely little sanctuary, isn't it? A little bolt hole. This is certainly where I'd be staying if I were in this situation. Not that it would probably make much difference, but you know. We've been this way, haven't we? Yep. Okay. Oh. Source feed error. Alright, I suppose. Mmm, yes. Oh crap. Here we go. Here they come. Shit. There's a lot of them here. I remember this area very well. A huge arena. I mean, absolutely frigging huge. Alright, fine. If that's the way it's gotta be... There's a Hellraiser up there. And he needs to die! Did you hear him speak? The demons actually do speak a language. And some of them uh, do actually talk at you. The Hellraisers in particular. They, they sort of sermonize to you. Which is really cool, yeah? Hello? Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. Is that all of the ambient demons done? 
Probably not. Oh god, yeah, we can't go down there. That would be bad. And I suppose you can guess um, what those big blue things do. Those are bounce pads. Urgh! God, he's a lummox, isn't he? Eh? Hello. What does this do? Oh, it's the map. That's kind of naughty, really, I suppose. In order to access the map, you need to find a secret. That's interesting. Interesting. Right, uh, since we were checked there... Oh, we've also gained a weapon upgrade point. Isn't that lovely? I believe... Oh, and another new codex entry. We'll maybe read that next time. Um, so, before we go and start causing havoc in there... Um, I believe we'll take a bit of a breather here. So, until next time, ladies and gents, bye-bye!